getting interrupted. Uh, I have to open a door for a dog now, so I'll be back in just a minute. And I'm back. Now, let's go and talk a bit more with the uh, Vince uh, Tobias. Here's a few more informations before I go uh, exploring uh, my career. Excuse me. Let's see about uh, see if we can find this Brian Westhouse. Do you know a man named Brian Westhouse? Westhouse? That old goat? Yes, unfortunately. What would you with him? I need to find him. I do not know where he lives. I hear somewhere on the outskirts of the city by the sea, but I cannot tell you any more than that. Who'd know about Westhouse? His whereabouts? I do not understand what you would with him. He is rude, uncultured, and ignorant. Cortez told me to look him up. Well, I do not know where he lives or frequents, but someone at the market may. He trades merchandise there, and I think he collects maps of the Northlands. Who did you say I should see about Westhouse? The map merchant at the market may know. There is one thing I must tell you, however. Few would know Westhouse by his real name. In the city, he is known as the Rolling Man because of his strange two-wheeled vehicle. A most dreadful and dangerous contraption if I ever saw one. A bicycle? Perhaps. It has a grotesque appearance, much like the Westhouse himself. Well, let's also hear a bit about Cortez here. What do you know about Cortez? Your mentor? What has he told you about himself? Not much. Nothing, in fact. He's a complete mystery to me. To learn something about someone, the best way to go about it is to ask them yourself. There is nothing I can do to enlighten you. But who is he? He is who he is, what he is. If he has not told you himself, then perhaps he does not wish you to know. It would be improper for me to divulge his secrets. You're as bad as he is. No offense. It's just frustrating. I understand. The next time you see him, tell him what you have told me. Maybe he will tell you the truth, maybe he will not. It is his choice to make. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about Arcadia? I will try my best to answer any question you may have, April. What's the history of Arcadia? There is so much I do not know where to begin. In truth, it would be wiser to ask someone else, unless you wish to know about the Fathers, the Balance, or Mudhoppers. Mudhoppers? My secret passion. I study them. They are a most fascinating species. Most fascinating indeed. But I am not practically versed in the intricacies of history, I am sorry to say. What's Mercuria like? I have lived in this city all my life, and still it amazes me what a diverse, exciting, and wonderful place it is. Many have called Mercuria the Jewel of the Northlands, and they are right. But it is a diamond in the rough. A city this size can never be flawless. There are always shadows and people who hide in them. Lately the shadows have grown and darkened, and I fear for the future. But Mercuria is still a wonderful place to live. What else can you tell me about Mercuria? Mercuria is the capital of Irede, the unified country. And we are located on the southern coast of the Northlands, halfway between Tyran and Khorasan. Between the Snapjaw and the Gaint Beast, some might call it. Between the Embers and the Fire. Yet democracy and peace have reigned for thousands of years now, and although relations may at times be strained with our Tyran neighbors, the High Council are masters of diplomacy. 
And Lord Igvan Delen is a firm and just chief counselor of the Iredan flag. Tell me a little about Irene. Irene means both unification and assembly in high tongue, and many still call Irene the unified country, even though it is an age and a half since the lands of the north joined together in alliance. Irene stretches from the plains of Nedra in the north to the Great Sea in the south, and from the territories of Tyran in the west to the thick woodlands in the east. It is populated by humans and Dolmare, Tyran and a number of other races, it is even said that a tribe of Venar have a ring of trees in Riverwood, though I am not sure that is anything but a myth. What are the Northlands? The Northlands is a collective term for all the lands north of the Great Sea and south of the border mountains including Irid, Tyran, and Khorasan. Before, however, the word Northlands was used to describe this entire continent, including the territories north of the mountains and the icy waste beyond that. Some still prefer the latter interpretation of the name. And to the people of the Southlands, anyone hailing from north of the Great Sea is a Northlander regardless. Thanks for the information. I'm glad I could assist you. How am I supposed to get back to Stark? The only way to get back is through a shift. You are a shifter, April, and the power to travel between worlds is within you. It might be within me, but it doesn't look like it's coming out anytime soon. I wish I could help you, but I cannot. You must find the path on your own. I'll see you later. You will. If you say so, then it must be true. Uh, okay. I don't think he knows the meaning of that term. But we will probably see them later anyway. Now let's go out and explore the city. Let's go down here and see if we can find... Anything interesting? In a world without the screen, that's what passes for entertainment. And it's pretty darn good. In a world with What a sorry looking bird. Hey, you don't look too polished yourself, lady. Oops, I didn't know you could talk. Didn't look as if you could talk either. Bird. I wonder if that's supposed to be anybody in particular, or just any old head. It's a game of some kind. Which we will not be playing right now, but we can still talk to this That's a particularly sleazy looking merchant. I wonder what he's selling. That's a particularly sleazy looking merchant. I wonder what he's selling. Want to test your skill and perception with a game of cups? There are prizes to be won! What can I win? Well, there's coin, of course. Double your bet or choose from a wide variety of exotic prizes. Like this antique Domari canter from Guienne. A superb replica of Mount Tyrone, cast in pure solid iron. A magic walnut from the once glorious island kingdom of Anciel. And this, um, unique bird. Get me out of here! Keep your beak shut, you scraggly piece of... <clears throat> and he talks! Great for feasts and for the amusement of infants. He's our top prize, a real keeper. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Time is money, so make it quick. What do you know about Vestrin Tobias? Vestrin Tobias, eh? The High Priest of the Sentinel himself. Did you know they call themselves the Fathers? It's a joke. 
When was the last time they did anything for us, the people? No. They are only interested in sticking with their outdated customs and keeping their secrets under lock. I'm getting more and more inclined to listen to these new people, the Vanguard. Their ideas appeal to me. They may be radical, but we're past due for a change. Only thing I don't wholly approve of is their alliance with the Tyrant. Filthy, dangerous people. But the Vanguard seem to have them under control, so I'm not too worried. I wish they wouldn't allow them into the city, though. How do you get along with your neighbor? The maps merchant? We've faced each other for six years now, every single day, and he never speaks a word to me except to insult me. Nose high in the sky, calls me a charlatan, as if he's the guardian himself. You know good oversized bag of wind? Do you know anything about Stark? Not much. I'm not too sure if I even believe in the place. I mean, you hear the stories and you read the books. Uh, well, I don't, but some do. A place where there's no magic, only science? Sounds like a bloody paradise, doesn't it? I mean, with my, um, <clears throat> skills, I could make a killing in a place like that. What's Arcadia like? What a queer question that is. What's the world like? It's big, for one, and too expensive. And they should ban Dalmari women from gambling because, I swear, they have a second sight. Thanks. Now, how about a game of cups? Sorry, but I'm broke. May the balance bring coin to your pocket, young lady, so that you may return to me and waste, uh, invest it in a game of cups. My intuition tells me... Maps! ...that he sells maps. Oh, good intuition. Let's go talk to him. Maps, I got maps. Can I interest you in a map, miss? Top notch, hand drawn in quality ink by skilled sunriders. Ain't no better in all the Northlands. Just hold on a second. Well, let's see if we can get a map of the city. Do you sell maps of the city? Can't help you there, miss. The Guild of Tourism has monopoly on city maps. I can tell you're not from around here, or you know that. Got tons of maps of all the Northlands, though, from the city of Tyron to the Bay of Fire. Maps! How much are your maps? Uh, that depends, miss. I uh, got a very nice one here of the Border Mountains for only six Harrens, fresh from the quill of a Sunrider. Maps! Get your maps here! Where can I find the Guild of Tourism? They're closed for the holidays. Sure, that makes sense. I'm looking for Brian Westhouse. Briar West of House? It's not on any of my maps, and I've never heard of it. Maps! It's a man, not a place. Mr. Brian Westhouse. I would most certainly remember a name as queer as that, and I don't. Get your maps while they're fresh. Can you tell me where the Rolling Man lives? Maybe, maybe not. Why? Because I need to find him. Sorry, guild rules. Uh, I'm not allowed to divulge any personal information about my customers. Maps! Well, I just need to pump him for information here about the Rolling Man. But first, I'm going to ask him a few questions. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Yes, Maps! Do you know Vestrum Tobias? Everyone knows Vestrum Tobias, girl. He's been an important part of this city for as long as I can remember. What can you tell me about him? The Vestrum is an honorable man, but a conservative one. And I don't know if he still has the best interests of the people at heart. Sometimes I think he worries too much about custom. 
The Sentinel have been our so-called protectors and keepers of the balance for so long, we don't even think of it anymore. But now that the Vanguard are introducing a new way of thinking, new philosophies, I'm afraid the Sentinel will find their power diminish before too long. Their resistance to change will be their downfall. Mark my words, their downfall for certain. And Tobias, honorable man that he is, will be remembered as the captain who went down with his ship. How do you get along with your neighbors? The cup's handler? Stay away from him, miss. He takes great joy in robbing people's purses. You can't beat him, not without magic. And he doesn't allow magic at his table. How would he know if I did use magic? Oh, he's got one of those blasted talismans. They're always digging up magical artifacts in Chagagriel, and they sell them to dogs like him for a silver coin or two. Get a proper job, you son of a mole!